The 13th most common question today, according to me, is that why does Islam prohibit a Muslim from eating pork, the flesh of swine? The answer to this question is, Quran says in no less than four different places. In Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number 173. Surah Maida, chapter five, verse number three. Surah Anam, chapter six, verse number 145. And Surah Nihal, chapter 16, verse 115. Forbidden for you for food are ah, dead meat, blood, the flesh of swine, and any food on which any name besides Allah's name is taken. So there are no less than four different places where it says that eating the flesh of swine is prohibited. Quran says that we Muslims believe. This prohibition is also mentioned in the Jewish and the Christian scriptures. It's mentioned in the book of Leviticus, chapter number 11, verse number 7 and 8. The flesh of swine is unclean. Though it has cloven foot and divided hoof, it chews not the cud. Its flesh is unclean. Thou shalt not eat its flesh, nor touch its carcass. That means the Bible says, eating the flesh of swine is prohibited, even touching it is prohibited. The same message is repeated in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 14, verse number 8, that the swine, though it has divided hoof, it chews not the cud. Its flesh is unclean for you, its carcass should not be touched. The same message is repeated in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 65, verse number 2 to 5, that you should not have the flesh of swine. So according to the Jewish scriptures and the Christian scriptures, eating pork is prohibited. If you read the Hindu scriptures, even in Hindu scriptures, eating pork is prohibited. It's mentioned in Manusmiti that a Brahmin, a twice born, should not eat cock or onion or dung heap pig. It's further mentioned in Vishnu Shutra. Anyone who sells the meat the forbidden meat, that is pork, you should chop off the opposite hands and limbs. Punishment. It's not there in the Quran and Hadith, Hindu scriptures. Chopping off the hands, if you sell pork. Let us analyze what are the logical reasons. So according to the religious scriptures, whether it be Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism, Islam, it's clearly mentioned in all these scriptures that eating the flesh of swine is prohibited. Let us analyze what are the logical reasons and scientific reasons for the prohibition of eating of pork. Today, medical science tells us that if a person has pork, he has chances of having no less than 70 different diseases. Pinworm, roundworm, hookworm, you name it, it is there. Many helminths. One of the most dangerous helminths is called as tinea solium. Tinea solium, in layman's terminology, it is tapeworm and it harbors in the intestine. It's very long. And the eggs, the ova, via the bloodstream can enter different organs of the body. If it goes to the brain, it can cause memory loss. If it goes to the eye, it can cause blindness. If it goes to the heart, it can cause heart attack. If it goes to the liver, it can cause liver damage. It can damage almost all the organs of the body. And by the time you realize you're suffering from this tinea solium, it's already too late. The other dangerous disease is if a person has pork, is tritura trituracis. And many people have a misconception that when you cook your food very well, these helminths die. According to a research, out of 24 people suffering from tritura trituracis, 22 have cooked the food well. That means the food that you cook in your house, the normal temperature you reach, cannot kill the germs and bacteria and the ova that are there in the pork. There are various other reasons why a person should not have pork. Today, science tells us that eating pork has got fat-building material. It has very little muscle-building material. Because of the fat-building material, a person has high chances of having hypertension, atherosclerosis, heart attacks. That is the reason more than 50% of the Americans, they suffer from hypertension because most of them are pig eaters. Today, we know that one of the most filthiest animals on the face of the earth is the pig. Wherever you find feces, muck, filth, you'll find the pig there. It's the most dirtiest animal. Some people say, in certain countries like Australia, I know, they breed the pig very well, you know, very hygienic. I tell them, even in Australia, in the sty, 
the pigs are kept together. You know, the pig, when it excretes, it eats its own excreta. So do you have mind 24 hours manning wherever he excretes, he picks up the excreta? No. So even in Australia, the pig is dirty. It's one of the most filthiest animals. And one more reason I can think of besides many is that today science tells us pig is the most shameless animal on the face of the earth. It is the only animal that invites its friends to see when it's having sex with its mate. When the pig is having sex with its mate, it invites its friends to see him having sex with the mate. You know, in America, modern society, they have dance parties. After the dance parties, they're swapping of wives. You sleep with my wife, I sleep with your wife. You eat pigs, you behave like pigs. 